The absorbable scaffold is less forgiving than the last generation of metallic DES drug eluding stand. So during the selection patients, the lesion should be prepared very well. Uh, so with a pre-dilatation, eventually with a lesion preparation by cutting balloon, scoring balloon, or rotablator, or high pressure balloons. And once we implant a scaffold, we need to be sure that the scaffold is pants properly. And a second point is that we, if we don't respect this rule, we run the risk of a high rate of scaffold thrombosis. If we respect this rule, we have the guaranteed to achieve a good success even in the long term, but we have to keep the patient, to maintain the patient on that at least one year. If the selection of the patient and the technical implantation is uh, correct, you have similar results than the best in class drug eluting stent with the benefit of a vascular restoration at long term once the scaffold disappears and you go back to natural physiology of the coronary artery. We are moving toward a new generation of scaffolds with a thinner struts which may mimic from a mechanical standpoint the DS.